Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for telling my sister to back off my parenting style or leave my house? I'm a 44-year-old single dad, raising my 14-year-old daughter. I've been doing this solo ever since her mom passed away 10 years ago. Now from day one, I decided I wasn't going to be that strict, overbearing parent. My childhood was a nightmare of constant rules and control, thanks to my own strict upbringing, and I'm not about to put my daughter through that mess. Therapy isn't cheap, you know? Anyway, about two weeks ago, my sister's house flooded because they found out the foundation was completely rotted. So, being the good brother, I offered her and her family a place to stay. They moved into my finished basement, which has its own entrance, kitchen, living room, and everything. It's a pretty sweet setup, honestly. She came with her husband and her three sons, 16, 13, and 9. For the most part, we've been doing our own thing. They live downstairs, we live upstairs, and we hang out together for a few hours every day. All was going fine until my sister started throwing shade at my parenting style. That's where the trouble really started. See, I don't have a million rules for my daughter. She's a good kid. As long as I know where she is and she's back home by 9 p.m., she's free to go wherever. I don't micromanage what she wears as long as it follows the school dress code, and I don't make her stick to some crazy strict bedtime. I don't check her homework either. I trust her to handle it. She's earned my trust, and I'm raising her to be independent. I want her to learn to self-regulate, and she's doing great. She maintains a solid B average at school, and guess what? I don't hover over her to make sure she gets it done. She's got a lock on her door, and I always ask permission before entering her room. And if she doesn't want to eat what I cook, she's free to make something else or order takeout, as long as she gives me a heads up and doesn't order in more than twice a week. Also, she's got her own money, so if she orders in, that's on her. Now, let's talk about my sister's parenting style. She runs her house like a military camp. Her kids have a strict routine no closed doors unless they're changing and she checks their electronics constantly. They barely go anywhere because she keeps them on lockdown. If they don't eat what she cooks, they go hungry. And don't get me started on the bedtime rules. Her 16-year-old has a 9 p.m. bedtime on school nights and 10 p.m. on weekends. I mean, come on. I don't agree with her style, but I've kept my mouth shut because I figure, her kids, her rules. But now she's coming at me saying I need to start imposing more rules on my daughter because her kids are noticing the difference and rebelling. And I was like, hold up my house, my rules, if your kids are acting out, that's on you, not me. Then things escalated. She started getting all dramatic, saying how her boys keep sneaking upstairs to hang out with my daughter and since her bedroom door is always locked, she's convinced they're hiding something from her. But honestly? All they're doing is hanging out and enjoying some freedom away from her constant surveillance. My nephews aren't up to anything shady, they just want some privacy for once in their lives. It all came to a head when she flat out demanded I tighten the leash on my daughter to make her life easier. That's when I told her, look, you either keep your opinions about my parenting to yourself, or you can go find somewhere else to live. Now she's telling everyone I'm an asshole for threatening her with homelessness, and that my relaxed parenting is only adding more stress to her already tough situation. She claims I don't understand how hard it is for her to manage her kids when they're constantly comparing themselves to their cousin. But here's the thing, I'm not going to let her style of parenting dictate how I raise my kid. We didn't have a power struggle before she moved in, and I'm not about to start one now just to make her life easier. Some context on why things blew up. The real catalyst for all this was when my sister realized her boys were using the upstairs floor as their escape route. They know they're not supposed to go up there without permission, but they've been sneaking up to hang with my daughter. My sister's convinced they're up to no good because my daughter's door is always locked, but the truth is, they're just enjoying a bit of freedom and privacy. She can't handle that. A few extra points people asked me to clear up. My daughter doesn't have a bedtime because I want her to learn to self-regulate. And yeah, she struggled a bit at first, but she eventually figured out how important sleep is. Now, she's got a healthy sleep schedule she manages on her own. My daughter's an entrepreneur. She runs an online shop where she crochets all kinds of stuff, plushies, characters, you name it. Over the summer, it was mostly bikinis but she decided that was too much work for too little pay. Either way, she's been killing it. She even made over $15 in K last year and has to start filing taxes this year. I'm proud of her hustle. 
My daughter's grades? She holds a B average, and I don't check her homework because I want her to do it for herself, not because someone's breathing down her neck. She's a good kid, and I trust her. My sister's losing it, though. She thinks the way I raise my daughter is causing chaos in her household, but honestly, I think her kids are just tired of the constant control. They see what life could be like if they had more freedom, and they're pushing back. Am I really the asshole here for setting boundaries with my sister? I offered her a place to stay, but that doesn't mean I'm going to change the way I raise my kid just because she can't handle her own. Edit, so I did end up telling my dad and Hannah what went down with Grace's boyfriend, and they were totally on my side. They said I didn't do anything wrong and that Isaac was out of line. My dad even told me Isaac isn't welcome in our house anymore, which honestly, I'm cool with. My sister's still mad but I'm standing my ground. My house, my rules. Comment. Orc 8. Ante. It sounds like you and your daughter have a great family style. If your sister's only problem is that her sons want more flexibility then she should look at changing her style not yours. In terms of her stress she should perhaps think about how your generosity in letting her family live in your house has reduced her stress. Emerald Blue Zen This right here. Op's parenting style sounds right on point and it's working well for his daughter. Sis needs to understand that he will not and should not change his way of parenting just for her to feel less stress. That's 100% not a valid reason. It's not like his daughter is running around doing drugs or something. She has her options, either put up with a bit of stress, due to their different parenting styles, or be homeless, and that'd be way more stressful in today. Dr. Whoop, 87. Up sounds like amazing parent, he's going to have a great relationship with his daughter while sister will probably have a strained one when her boys grow up, probably like Up does with his parents. Generational trauma sucks and anybody who breaks it is a hero to me. A Segirl, 1985. Right? He sounds like he's doing wonderfully. It's so nice to see a good, caring, understanding parent on here for a change. And that you are doing everything right. She's doing nothing but ensuring her kids want as little to do with her as possible when they grow up, and she's also really setting them up to fail when they actually are on their own, because they won't have the skills and know how to limit and moderate themselves, like your daughter will. Yellow Dragon I've seen it said in a few places that strict parents raise sneaky kids. It was true for me and I'll bet it's true for the sister. The thing is, it's just as stressful for the kids as it is for the sister, as they have to be on their toes all the time, thinking ahead, anticipating her next intrusion and how they will work around it, double-checking and remembering if they are hid something that so mom won't find it, stressing that they forgot, and figuring out new ways to hide things as mom inevitably figures out one of the old ones. Having a locked door they can get behind and just let themselves relax for a while is extremely important to those kids, I'll bet it is the only time they can truly relax in a space where she can't get at them. Please continue to defend your daughter's right to do this, she needs it, and so do they. Thanks for watching till the end, wishing you an awesome day, feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share, I'd love to hear from you.